Hey everyone, 2020 has been a big year for all of us. And we've spent time reflecting and asking ourselves, is this how I want my life to be? Well, after much reflection, my wife and I have decided we are going to slow down our life in 2021. And that's for, for many reasons. And we wanna share why you should consider this too and share a few ways that you can do it alongside of us. I have always been a big dreamer. When I was a kid, my dream was to become a professional baseball player. And I was so confident and sure that that is exactly what I was gonna be doing with my life. Well, that did not pan out. And looking back, I'm, I'm glad that it didn't because I would not have spent time really focusing on my own personal spiritual growth. And I would have never bumped back into my wife who at the time was just a friend from middle school. Since my dream for playing baseball, I've had many other dreams. And in the beginning, I'm always really excited. But what ends up happening is along the process and along the journey, I tend to lose some of that excitement and really start to feel overwhelmed. And I only look forward towards the destination. Whether your dream is to be married, or to have kids, or to live off of your passions, maybe something like art, or to restore a relationship with someone in your family or somebody from the past. Whatever it is, we often look towards the destination. So actually being married, or actually having kids, or actually living off of our passion, or already having that restored relationship as the only time where we can slow down and enjoy the process and slow down and enjoy what is happening around us. This causes us to miss out on all the beautiful moments along the way. We don't have to delay joy until we actually reach the goal. And this is something that I've been really focusing on myself. I've struggled with this a lot in the past of just suffering my way in the journey to the goals that I have in life and not allowing myself to just enjoy the process. There's so much beauty in the process, so much life lessons that we learn. And I think sometimes the whole point is the process. It's not actually achieving or attaining said goal. It's really experiencing life. Maybe you've heard from those catchphrases, I'll slow down when I'm older or YOLO. Well, it's true. We do only live once but there aren't any rewinds. In our culture, it's valued to be busy and constantly on the go. That's a value trait that we see from our society. And that man or woman who works 80 to 100 hours a week, never has any time to themselves, and is just constantly on the go, is highly respected and even someone that you would be told to strive to become like. And I've fallen victim to this. I would always find myself busy every single moment. And I can even say so from 2020, I would always try to keep myself moving. And I lost so much joy along the way. I lost so much joy in life, so much joy from being able to see my kids and all the things that they were experiencing for the first time. And just kind of found myself wondering, what am I doing? I've realized I don't want to wait until I'm older to make meaningful experiences with my family. And I don't want to wait till I have more money to slow down and be present and tell myself it's okay to be in the moment. Now, I want to be careful that I don't paint a picture that we should feel like we're running out of time and that we have to stop everything that we're doing and be in the moment because that scarce mindset I feel like steals even more joy. But keeping everything into perspective, I feel that we should have permission to live life now and not later. I recently went to my doctor for my annual checkup and I was expecting tens all across the board because I work out, I eat healthy, I've been an athlete my entire life. And I was surprised to hear when he said, you need to change something up big time this year. 
I found out that I have high cholesterol and that could be from a myriad of reasons. It could be from my diet, it could be from not exercising enough, but most importantly, and I didn't think about this, it could be due to high stress. I have been pushing myself harder and harder, harder than I have ever in my life. And I enjoy pushing myself and I enjoy growing, but at the end of the day, we're all human. My wife and I are in the trenches right now with three babies trying to figure out the dynamic of our house with having two toddlers and having a newborn, but I have always told myself I'm not going to give myself a pass just because I have three kids and I'm working and I have all these things going on, but I realize that I should have. I should give myself some grace. I look at others and think, well, that person is keeping up the same pace and I have this idea in my mind that you know, people are always going and always working hard and achieving things, but that's not always the case. I'm starting to see that high pressure constantly is not, it's not good for my health. And I've been asking myself, how do I want my kids to see me? Do I want my kids to see me as stressed and constantly busy and constantly preoccupied? I definitely don't want that. And I want to be, make sure that I am leading by example, showing my kids how it means to live, how it means to live a slower lifestyle and be present. And I know that slowing down in 2021 will make a big impact on my health. On top of this, we've all experienced and seen how 2020 has caused us to isolate more and slow down. And this has bubbled up everything that we've been trying to push down in our lives and it's all coming to the surface. More than ever, we have seen how taking care of ourselves mentally is so important to having a great life. Which leads me to my next point. Being able to process our emotions in a way that serves us, I would argue and say that that is one of the most important skills to develop in life. A lot of us were not raised in the best environments and as a protective mechanism, we would push our feelings down and neglect our emotions. And if we show emotion, it's sometimes frowned upon. I feel that this shows up at a greater degree in men but I know that women still struggle with this as well. When we are dealing with heavy emotion, it's really difficult to set still. We're always looking for the next thing to do to keep our minds occupied. We're looking for the next high to keep ourselves numb. And we are keeping ourselves busy so that we don't deal with the emotions that we are feeling. And the problem with this is that we can only run for so far and for so long. We've all met that hardened older person who you can tell has never taken the time to heal and process their emotions. And they are still dwelling on the things that happened to them 20, 30, or even 40 years ago. And in reality, that could be all of us one day. I would say processing emotion has been one of the most eluding and confusing things that I've had to deal with in life. I've always found success in tackling problems head on, fixing them and moving on. But when it comes to my emotional life, I've always been so perplexed that I couldn't solve the problem by brute force. I couldn't just snap myself back together when I was hurt by something. I couldn't force someone to change their view about me and I couldn't control everything like I truly wanted to. In so many ways, I thought that I had overcome it because I had not been feeling anything. I'm so busy right now being knee deep and raising a family and working and just that's the season of life that I'm in that I realized when we started to really slow down because of 2020, I realized that there were still things that were coming to the surface and I was still kind of pushing down beneath. Now I'm realizing more so than ever that it's so important to slow down 
and allow ourselves to process emotion. It is easy to stay busy and stay stuck in our ways, but life is just too short for us to idle by and come to when we're older when so much time has passed. I have this saying that I like to write down every day as a reminder, I make every day count. But that could mean so many different things. Today, it could mean I make this video for you guys to share with you all. Tomorrow, that could mean I'm going to spend more time with my wife and reconnect with her and be intentional. And the next day, it might mean I'm going to focus on being healthy and make sure that I eat healthy and make sure that I take time to work out uh, for my own personal health. Whatever it may be, and wherever you are in life, don't let yourself get stuck in monotonous routines and not allow yourself to enjoy and live in the moment today. Slow down, enjoy the moment, and make 2021 mean something. Oftentimes when we think of decluttering, we think about stuff. So we think about decluttering our closet, decluttering our homes, decluttering our car, and things like that. But when we declutter our lives, we really open up the possibilities to do so much more. 